Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall be introducing you to Play Mode here in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. The first difference you'll notice about Play Mode is that the music area doesn't show the notation as all the other modes do. Instead, it shows a piano roll, giving a graphical representation of the MIDI note events, with each row corresponding to a different pitch, and then bars and beats shown left to right. Each note is shown as a rod, drawn on the row pertaining to its pitch, with its length showing its duration, and placed at the rhythmic position the note starts. This type of view will be familiar to those who have used sequences or doors. Each instrument for every player has its own dedicated piano roll track, and to the left of each piano roll view is a track header, showing the name of the instrument, its mute and solo status, and routing information. In other words, the VST, or MIDI instrument, through which it's playing back. The VST and MIDI instruments that are currently loaded are shown here on the right, and it's easy to add your own to make use of any other software or hardware sound libraries you may have access to. The toolbox at the left edge of play mode gives you the tools you need to create, edit, and delete notes in the piano roll. What's more, played durations can be edited separately from notated durations. Dorico handles the playback of your notated music automatically by way of the bundled Halion Symphonic Orchestra sound library that ships with the software. The library plays back using the Steinberg VST instrument Halion Sonic SE that is installed along with the orchestral library. This means that you can press play at any time and your music will be rendered without any manual configuration. Let's have a look at how Dorico achieves this. I'm starting a new empty project, and when it loads you can see there are no players in setup mode. Switch to play mode, and similarly there are no piano roll tracks, and there are no VST or MIDI instruments loaded in the racks. Let's switch back to setup mode and add a piano. So that we have something to see, I'll add a few notes. You can hear that Dorico already knows to play these notes using a piano sound. Back in play mode, there is now a track for the piano. The track headers are organized using the same players and instruments relationships as in setup mode. So expanding this piano player displays the piano instrument. Translucent colored blocks indicate the rhythmic regions in which the piano instrument has music, giving a quick overview of the texture of the flow. Open up the instrument to show the piano roll view, and we can also see this routing information that shows us that Dorico is sending the music played by the piano to the Halion Sonic SE virtual instrument on channel one. And look, over in the VST instruments panel, Dorico has now added an instance of the Halion Sonic SE VST. Clicking this E button to edit instrument will open the Halion Sonic SE window. You can see that the Yamaha S90ES piano program has been loaded into the first slot, and pressing the notes on the keyboard at the bottom of this window will audition the piano sound. Let's add another player and give them a flute. Notes on this stave will play back using a flute sound. So let's check play mode, and sure enough, there's now a track for our flautist. You'll notice that the track is also routed to the Halion Sonic SE we're using for the piano, but this time it's being sent to channel 2. Indeed, opening the instance of Halion Sonic SE confirms this with this flute combi patch loaded into slot 2. The name combi refers to the fact that this flute patch contains a combination of different sounds for playing legato, accent, trills, etc. And Dorico uses playing technique markings in the score to know which articulation or expression to play. You can learn more about how Dorico controls these playback features 
using key switches and expression maps in a video later in the series. Dorico will continue to use this instance of Halion Sonic SE to load sounds until it has filled all 16 of its slots, after which it will simply create a second instance of the VST plugin and keep going. Dorico also knows the difference between a solo player and section players with string instruments such as a violin and loads different sounds for each. So for automatic playback of your music, it really is as simple as creating the players and instruments in setup mode and then inputting your music. Dorico takes care of loading the relevant sounds and routing the playback without you needing to even switch to play mode. However, Dorico also allows you to configure your system to take advantage of any software or hardware instruments you may already own, using the principles I've shown you here. The rest of this video series will show you some of these capabilities. If you found this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And please subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.